So today we are going to paint our clay face um, from last time. And you'll need a paper towel um, to keep your table clean. And if you need to dry out your brush, it's great for that. You're gonna be using um, the tempera cakes that they're dried out, but the more you add water, um, the more color you get. And then an option today is using some oil pastels. So oil pastel and water don't mix. So wherever you put the oil pastel, the paint will not cover it. So you can literally draw on the top of this. You're not gonna get a perfectly clean line because it's clay. So if that makes you nervous, then don't use the oil pastel. Let's see, I'm just kinda coloring it in. I'm really not sure what I'm doing with this. I'm gonna keep mine very modern looking. So that's kinda fun and there's no wrong way to do that. Um, I could use like the white here. Maybe I want, um, I'll have this light. I'm gonna top this nose piece to be completely white. And you, when you paint, if you wanna leave um, some of the clay white, that would work too. And then you can have like the lip if you want, you know, to color. That is some bright lipstick if that's lipstick. <laughs> um, that's a little too bright for you. Tone it down by adding a little bit of white more pinkish so I just showed you a few spaces I add the oil pastel so you can see what happens now when you paint the paints especially the yellow and the um, white get pretty dirty so what you can do to kind of fix that is go into your water and just kind of rub the area you're gonna work with okay I wouldn't clean the whole take the whole time to clean the whole area just the area you're gonna work with okay do the same thing you see that same thing with the yellow. Go back into the water. And you can see how kind of the icky, dirty paint is going down below. Okay, so that's how you can start with that. And this painting, you can literally mix right on top here. So let's say I want this face to be green-ish. I literally paint right on top of that. If I want it to be really light, you see how I just dipped it into the water? And that would work for lightening it. But if I don't want it to be that light, the more I swir squiggle and twirl my brush around, the more paint will go on it. And you can see, let me get a little bit more. You can see how that's darker now. So I can go right on top of the oil pastel and fix that. Now if I want to mix a color, I can go to like yellow, so it's going to be like a lime color, and I literally go right on top. So it can be realistic if that's what you choose, or you could have fun with some of these kind of crazy colors. And I'm making sure I paint the sides, okay? The back. You do not have to paint the back, but as long as you're painting the sides, you may have to pick it up for that to work. So I'll show you around the nose area. Let's go into the blue a little bit. Remember, the more you wiggle that brush around the color, the darker it will be. And you see how it's kind of pushing away the paint? Okay, because I added that white right to the top. And right now I just have one brush, but you can use multiple brushes for this, depending on what area you're trying to get into. But just know wherever you paint, use the oil pastel, it's not, you're not gonna be able to paint over it because oil and water don't mix. And then I'm gonna go into my green here, kind of mix that up. And this is pretty light, but remember if I want it to be darker, all I need to do is just add, um, just wiggle it around and it'll add a little bit less water. So the more water you add, <coughs> excuse me, the darker it will appear. So just paint the whole top surface. And 
and if you make a little mistake, like a little bit right there, you have to clean out your brush. You may have to empty your water. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you just kind of wiggle it around the unwanted color and take that paper towel, kind of blot it, and it'll pick up that little mess. And it's black in the eyes. And I really would advise you to use more than one color because you'll, um, or more than one brush, I should say, you'll have more control over where your color is gonna be. So, you can leave some areas white. You can paint the whole thing. As long as the top and the sides are painted, that's it. So it can be as modern as you want or as realistic as you like, that is your choice.